What's going on guys? Uh, I know I had a little up, uh, update at the end of my episode yesterday about how I wasn't going to do too much today and because of the rain and everything that uh, this today's episode was going to be a little bit shorter than normal. Uh, so I think I'm just going to go over my mindset heading into the tournament tomorrow at Buffenville. Uh, it is one of my favorite courses right now. It lets me really unleash. It lets me open up my arm and throw as far as I can on a lot of the holes. There's a lot of out of bounds. Um, hole one and two open up as two huge par fours with out of bounds. Hole one has out of bounds on both sides off the drive. Hole two has out of bounds on the left. Um, so if you really want to get a big chunk of the fairway cut off, you're going to have to be playing with the out of bounds in some sense. And there's out of bounds on a lot more holes than just holes one and two. But with both of them being par fours, it kind of makes the risk reward a little bit more for trying to go deep and have a good placement shot off the tee. But I don't know. My mindset going into tomorrow is very clear. I feel very confident in my game, and I also really, really like Buffenville as a course. So I don't really feel too nervous or too worried about that. Um, the basic premise of my mindset is just to stay clean all day. There's going to be two rounds, so just try not to go out of bounds as, as often as you can. I mean, I'm going to try to stay clean the whole time, but I'm guessing that probably won't happen in 36 holes at Buff. Um... Hole 10 is really tough. It's a par 3 that plays over a river, down a hill, and then down a really tight alleyway. It's kind of a tweener where it could be a, you know, a par 4, but if it was a par 4, I feel like it would be birdied way more often than, than not. But the way that it is right now, it's, it's almost never being birdied unless you're one of the national touring pros. But um, other than hole 10, there's a couple other holes that I just need to really play safe on. And, oh, I have a little battery notification. Um, other than hole 10, there's a couple other holes I need to play it safe on. A couple of them I can be really, really aggressive on. And then there's like two or three that should be just birdies on both rounds. Quick little flicks with a little protected basket, but I feel like I can get it on the green and at least have a look for a putt. So my mindset heading into tomorrow is just to stay clean. Don't go out of bounds. Uh, if I do go out of bounds, at least make it in a place where I can have a good scramble shot, at least to get to the, to the green or to the circle to at least give myself a look for a par save or even a bogey save. Um, other than that, just maybe disc down if I feel like I don't want to bite off more than I can chew. If if I really feel like I'm, you know, being super aggressive and going for the long shot and I don't feel like it's going to be the shot that I need, I might just disc down to like a mid-range or a fairway and just take the shot that I should and just get down, maybe take 300, 350 feet off rather than 450 and try to, you know, max distance it. Um, overall, though, I feel super confident heading into the tournament tomorrow and I'm really looking forward to how it's going to play out. I'll see you guys tomorrow.